Hello everybody, I'm Embrix and we are doing a DC Comics Superheroes uh, review. This is from Justice League. This is Battle of Atlantis, set number 76085. Um, it has 197 pieces and originally retailed for $20 in the US. This is from 2017, so I still find it on shelves and usually for sale. Usually $16, but I got a great deal on this, only for $12. So yeah, I love seeing uh, superhero battle packs. And battle packs are basically like a build and then four figures. But this is better than a battle pack because it's a $20 set, not a 15 So they give us a better build. So obviously the figures are probably the best draw, but just moving those out of the way. Uh, we're going to take a look at the build. So the build is really just two assemblies. Sorry about that right here. We got this right here. And then we got that. So this is just some small assembly. I like the, uh, first off, the sand green pieces. Yeah, sand green is a relatively rare color in lego we got that sort of moss then maybe some water and then that sand green brickage um this is accurate to the movie uh there will be no spoilers though um so the mother box uh yeah it's sort of like in infinity war how they had the mother boxes except in justice league they had three not six infinity stones and then also um uh, Avengers Infinity War was announced before Justice League and before the story of Justice League. I'm not saying anyone copied anyone, but I am a Marvel fan. But yeah, here is the mother box. The one given to the Atlanteans. So I don't know if I said that right, but we also have a sand blue right there. So moving that aside, uh, these are almost identical. We have some uh, per se glow in the dark pieces. Yes, yeah, see, so they do work, and that is nice, but you really just have to close the lights all the way. And then, you know, we have uh, some s weeds growing out right here, some light pieces. You could see a sticker used right here and here, and then more sand green pieces. These are actually on jumpers, so uh, something fun to do is you could sort of angle these, or you could pretend like uh, he threw, what are they called? Um, parademon, yeah. He threw a parademon into a column, and it fell down, and then... I think these are supposed to represent light. So we have more stickers on the front right here. You see some uh, more seaweed, uh, another glow in the dark piece, some more detailing down at the bottom. And then right here, uh, we have a sort of build, um, throwing some waterish things up there, elements. Um, I like this. And then this piece, I do believe it, um, yeah, it did uh, exist before this set, but this is perfect. Because uh, in the new Aquaman movie, you can clearly see this is Aquaman's logo. It's always been Aquaman's logo, and this is his logo. So that's the perfect piece, and getting it in trans blue, I think that it's not the first time we got it, but still, this is just Aquaman's logo right here. I think it's this way, but it could be, th yeah, this way. So yeah, Aquaman's logo, that is just great to get. Um, I don't think that they really intended too much for that to happen, but it's just so perfect in my opinion, and you know how it it's up right there oh my god sorry i showed a box of another set let me just move that out of the way make it less distracting okay so anyway uh there's a little bit of a play feature where you stick this back here yeah and then this piece as you saw came out so there is a super jumper a lot of people don't like these uh because you know the damage figure legs but i made a tips and tricks video search and bricks tips and tricks the super jumper and it should come up but what you're intended to do is you're supposed to like put the parademon right here i will take a look at figures fast and then try to hit that so you can see i got close here give it one last try first time too little for us second time too much oh my god i actually got it so that was nice but uh as you can see when i knocked that backwards this fell out because here is it from this angle it causes it to just fall out so you could hide the uh mother box and then put some conflict and then eventually the parademon does knock it out and uh, speaking of conflict it is not fair whatsoever uh because first of all we only have the parademon for the bad guys but then we have aquaman which can like overpower seven parademons at once but then he also has two atlantean guards so an unfair fight um yeah now i wanted to note the things without my trick the legs really get stuck there and that's where the damage comes you know uh some lines come on that so yeah that uh tips and tricks video is cool and the instructions actually show that you bend the figure way like this because they heard like all people's complaints when this was first uh introduced so that's pretty much it for the build i didn't want to just um 
say there's one more of these power blast pieces and I'll show it with the Aquaman Man figure later on uh, in the this set. So that's it for the builds. Let's take a look at these awesome figures. I decided I'd start off with Aquaman. This is the first DC EU DC Extended Universe. It's basically the like movie DC movies right now. Um, uh, I'd start off with him. It's the uh, Aquaman. So the power blast, as I said, I'd show. Then go like this, and then you just press down, and yeah, it shoots out. And the extra does come, which is good since I think I lost that. The time piece in this color is nice. It has a lightsaber hilt. And then I really like this figure. Just leg printing there is so good. And then the pro gold torso also has printing. And back here, removing the hair piece. We got some more uh, very nice printing back there. But this, just look at how detailed that hair piece is. It's great. It even has printing here. And oh my god, that hair piece is fantastic. I love it. Maybe it, it, it might just be uh, my favorite hair piece the Lego has ever made. So there's his mad face where his eyes get all watery and his beard printing but turning it around you have his more uh smirky face you know he looks cocky there so yeah aquaman is a great figure to finish off the atlanteans we have two atlantean guards uh, i like these gun builds right here that's a long gun piece and then it uses some sort of um transparent one by one stud with a hole going through it and then yeah that uh has a nice feel but i love these figures they're done in pearl gold and they look really good just look at that printing right there just very subtle gold on gold and then we have some of that nougat color and then those bold black lines so that is very nice, excuse me. And the back also looks good. It sort of looks like a face to me. Eye, eye, eyebrow, eyebrow, nose, and then mouth. But that's just personal opinion. Uh, sorry for those who now can't unsee the face. Um, the helmet piece here looks very nice. It very much reminds me of the actual Atlantis theme for uh, Disney's Atlantis movie. They had a whole theme. I had a set of that when I was younger. But surprisingly, here's one face. And that's not the surprising thing. Here's the angry face. But here's the surprising thing. They are identical in everything, so I figured their faces would be identical, but they're not. That is very nice. Uh, some more distinction, so you can see the difference. They're not new faces, but still, at least they're different, you can see. So it gives each of them some more personality. So that finishes it off for the Atlanteans. Here is a non-Atlantean, a uh, Parademon, the only one included in the set, uh, which is inaccurate, but this is like a yellowish version, I'm not, um, um, they're okay figures, the Parademons remind me of some Chima stuff, just personally, uh, they're the, there's the leg printing, the uh, torso printing is actually good, I didn't uh, take time to appreciate that, and then there's the face print right there, and there's the back face, uh, it has a stud shooter, so the way that works is you press on this, wait yeah and then it fires off and then you can put it back so yeah um the way the wings work here this is sort of like a grounded wait yeah i think this is grounded phase where it's just sort of there but as soon as you remove those yeah this is like where it would be static so you can remove it like this it's one of those vinyl pieces you could see the additional back torso printing and then you put another wing included as with the other one see there are two different ones one where it's standing and then sorry i just knocked over the whole stand one where it's in fly mode you just attach this towel would be nice to get one of these in this sort of yellowish orangish color but yeah now you can have it flying as shown on the box so yeah that's it for the figures so yeah, I really like this set. I love the artwork for the Justice League right there in that uh, topmost corner. But yeah, this is really nice. Uh, like the power blast pieces. Uh, the figures are very nice in the pro gold. I love the Atlantean guards. Um, he's good. Aquaman. I very much love that hair piece. Parademon is okay. It adds some play value. Although, you know, three versus one isn't fair. I, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, if you want more play value, I'm going to say this. Pretend it's like the leader parademon because a lot of them are like greenish and stuff. Yeah, like most of them are green. Like this isn't a bigger set, but just just pretend that it's the leader. It will give you like a stronger and better fight. So, oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So I'm going to bring back in the set. They suggest you do this where you put the, it here. Oh, that's so cool. I, I didn't know that this was a feature right here. It's supposed to be like they're swimming. 
since this is underwater and then oh that's a really nice feature so they can like shoot and get uh they're swimming right here ah that's pretty cool i saw it just right there on the box but yeah i think play value is definitely good in the set i like the artwork done for the water sort of coming out in the background of the box is nice that's it for the set review i hope you like it please subscribe leave in a comment down below and i'll talk to you again soon bye